my pot has been heating up a bit. I'm going to add some olive oil. Probably two tablespoons there. Add almost a tablespoon of butter to it as well. And a large onion. Got a cup and a half of onion. And some salt. And I'm gonna cook this, cook this till it gets soft. It's been about eight minutes on them onions. I'm gonna add some fresh butternut squash and some garlic. I kind of sliced up, chopped up, sliced up. I'm gonna cook this two minutes or so. Starting to smell the garlic a bit. It's been two minutes. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of tomato paste. And just let this cook in there for a minute. I saw this recipe on the internet and it was called Three Sisters Stew. Like the Native Americans would, would uh, plant three things together, corn, squash, and beans together. So anyway, I decided to add some more tomato paste because I am changing the recipe and um, to my liking. It's, not, it's going to be more of a soup than a stew. Here's a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of cumin that I will add for some smokiness and some green chilies like this. Four ounce can, so it's a half a cup. Get all those in there. I've been on kind of low heat, medium low heat doing this but we'll turn it up here in a little bit so add those in there I'm going to add yellow squash that is two small yellow squash that I chopped and I took out a lot of the seeds not all of them black beans navy beans I rinsed and uh, I drained and rinsed the cans I'm going to add chicken broth and I have four cups here I'm going to start with three and see how it does that and two cups of frozen corn if you have like a old tomato that you want to get rid of you chop that and put this in there too and uh, 16 ounce 15 16 14 ounce can of uh, crushed tomatoes Stir that in. Need some pepper. And we'll let this cook for a bit and then taste for salt after it cooks. This is simmered for 30 minutes. It's fairly thick and uh, which is fine. But I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, other cup of chicken broth to it just to thin it out just a little bit and you want to taste for salt give it that taste mmm not bad the chicken broth I used was full salt I think it needs a little more a little more in there I'm going to add some fresh chopped parsley and cilantro 
into the mix and stir this in and we're ready to plate. Let's try our Native American soup here with squash and beans. And corn. Mm. Very delicious. Very nice. Thank you so much for watching.